And all this time, you probably thought Amazon was the only retailer making money. Then you got the news out of Home Depot, and the news out of, out of TJ Maxx, of course. They went to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all beating expectations, raising guidance, shares up over 10% in just the past year here. So reminders, even though there are fewer rather than, than, than the whole bunch, especially when you consider Macy's and Kohl's and JCPenney and all these other hurt and pops, uh, that, that there are still retailers who can get the job done. But the very few, to Danny Hughes on that, Divine Capital CEO, what do you make of that uh, who, the, between those who are getting it and making money, Danny, and those who are not? It's all about value, Neil. I really think that the consumer is actually switching on their value button and thinking about, you know, if I'm going to be in my home after this real estate crash of 2008, 2009, I'm going to have to stay here for a long time. What's my smartest move? My smartest move is to fix up my house. So this has been a long story coming. Um, in the same way, TJ Maxx is the same exact idea. People are looking for value. Consumers are looking for value. Amazon, exactly that same idea as well. You know, you're seeing value in things like Prime. Um, you're getting be more bang for your buck. So I think that that's why people aren't going to the mall. They're not looking for the shishi la la uh, luxury items. You know, they're looking more for building value over time for now. All right, Bob, you always wonder, though, whether Amazon, as we show it here, has gotten ahead of itself. Um, you know, they always have their rise and their fall. Is this rise a bit too, too much? I should disclose I'm an Amazon shareholder, but I, I do you ever wonder that, whoa, slow down. Amazon is one of those names, uh, like Apple was a number of years ago, where it was way ahead of itself. But it's way ahead of itself in so many ways with thinking about the future, thinking about delivery, thinking about the consumer in a different world than we live in right now. So that's a lot harder to um, look at a forward PE and say, okay, that's right and I should buy it for value. Amazon is a much bigger story. It's a future story, so it's a future value. Much more than something like a Home Depot or Lowe's, for example, that's reporting tomorrow. Or even Walmart that's reporting later this right, week, which right. is going to be a big one. Danny, while I have you, I'm, I'm sure you might have heard Mark Cuban say that if uh, Donald Trump became president, expects stocks to sell off 20 percent. Obviously, I think he's basing that on the idea that uh, Trump would be a protectionist, that he would slap tariffs on Chinese goods and the like and just be very bad for global business. Um, do you share that? I, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a Trump supporter, so I'm, I'm hoping just for personal reasons that he doesn't get elected president. But I do think from the standpoint of where I stand now and uh, from being a business owner myself, I, I don't think that he would give a lot of confidence to Wall Street. I think that he's a big question mark in a lot of ways, and that's what concerns people. I think people like, um, you know, more of the same, you know, be that Hillary or, or anyone else would would give Wall Street a little bit more confidence that things were going to continue on the same rise that they've been at. All right, Danny, that is very judiciously put. Uh, <laughs> touche to you. Uh, Danny, thank you very, very much. Thanks, Neil.